The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, the author of Mastering Probability, Steve Rhodes. Good morning from TFNN. Welcome to the January 20th, terrific Tuesday edition of today's opening bell on the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve, Perseverance Rhodes who knows for sure, for with certainty, that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there had a fantastic extended weekend. Hopefully you did have that extended weekend. And if you didn't, I still hope you had a fantastic weekend. Anyways, of course, you know, what we should do is just make sure that today, today is an extraordinary day for each of us. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that in life, well, life just simply happens for us, not to us. When you and I, when we make that one little shift, one little word, three little letters, we go from two to three, we go from two to four, it'll make all the difference in the world because it means that then you've got the ability to find the gift in every set of circumstances that the universe is going to throw at you. And trust me, the universe is going to throw circumstances. If you're a trader, you know for sure that each and every day the universe throws circumstances at you. So today we're going to go take a look at today's circumstances. Right now the Dow is up uh, 47 points. Of course, I am absolutely grateful for your presence here today. I'm here to serve you. It's as simple as that. And all that means is that you just got to pick up that phone. You got to dial on in at 877-927-6648. Internationally, you could reach out to us at 727-444. No, 445. Don't call 444. You'll get the wrong number. But call 727-445-1044. That way, you'll connect right into the switchboard. And you and I, we can go looking at the uh, markets. We can identify. Well, we'll take both sides of the trade, as we always should. Of course, this is terrific Thursday, Tuesday. It's not Thursday. It's Tuesday. Wish it was Thursday already, huh? This is TFN and I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. As I mentioned, Dow Futures up about 45 points right now. ES Mini up five and a half points. Trade out of 2019. NASDAQ up 18 points. Trade at 41.52. Russell 2000 up about four points. Trade at 11.75. And change out there. The King. King dollar up four pennies right now. Trade out at 92.93. A little bit of movement in the currency market. The hard currency market. Uh, Goldilocks up nine dollars. Trade out at 12.86. Silver's up two pennies. She traded at 17.77. Light sweet crude down uh, two dollars and 23 cents. That's trading out at 46.46. Natural gas back seven. Excuse me, back seven percent this morning. Off uh, 22 pennies, trading out of 290, doing nothing more than just simply following that seasonal, historical seasonal pattern that we've shared with you in the past. If we uh, take a quick peek across the globe out here, how about that DAX? That DAX, one strong like bull index out here. Right now, this morning, they're only up 18 points, trading out at 10,261. We'll look at that. The FTSE's up 43 points. She's trading at 66.28. Of course, we're making up for a couple of days out here. Only we were closed yesterday uh, over in Asia last night. You had the uh, Shanghai up 59 points. That was up uh, almost 2%. Of course, the day before, down about 7% out there. The Hang Seng, that was up 212 points. The Nikkei last night up 352, up 2%. 2 Again, our call number 877-927-6648. Let's begin our day. Let's go take a look at the DAX here uh, because, you know, the question is, is the DAX going to uh, give us an indication as to what's going on in the market out here? Now, we see here, if you're watching us on Tiger TV, I hope that you are. But look, if you're listening on the radio or your mobile device at tfn.mobi, we love you just as much. Don't forget, you can get your live stream of the show by simply coming over to the homepage of tfn.com. Upper right-hand side, you'll see a button. You can click on that. You can see the show streaming live to that device. Let me describe to you what it is that we're looking at. You know, inside the uh, DAX, it's that uh, trading session from December the 5th. That used to be its high out there, and that was at a price point of 10093 That was taken out with a conviction. I don't have the volume, but we do have the uh, candle formation, and that was taken out with a conviction on January 16th. Slightly higher high yesterday, slightly higher high today. What the uh, DAX wants to do, it's been traveling in this little uh, rising price channel. Those are the yellow diagonal lines going up on my screen here. We won't say that price necessarily needs to be contained within that uh, box out here. What we will say, at this stage of the game, looks like the uh, 
stacks headed for a one to one A to B equals C D the upside 10,957.11. So long as the DAX trades above, stays above 10,093, that is your likely outcome out there. So the DAX leading the way to the upside. If we take a look at the uh, FTSE right now, uh, the FTSE out here, as both you and I know, it came down. The FTSE was actually the first one to indicate a bottom was uh, forming out here because the FTSE was the first one down to test and reject its December 16th low out there. Now what the uh, FTSE is doing, it's trading up towards its uh, most recent congestion area. That began back in uh, November, November 21st. So the FTSE needs to get above 67.73. Should it do that, that would do uh, one of two things. One could set up an A to B equal C to the upside, but most likely what it will do is say set up a, a test and a move up to the 69.50, the top of its consolidation trading range that is the message right now but it does need to clear that 67.73 will it fall in line as i mentioned over in asia if we take a look at the uh, shanghai you'll see that big huge drop while we were sleeping out here perhaps sleeping uh, a what is it, about a 7% move, as I say, because the night before, meaning January 16th, meaning Friday, you had a close out here. Well, you had a high of 35.63. You actually had a low uh, two days ago of uh, 32.43. It's a big drop, 7% or so. In the, in the uh, scheme of things, though, volume, uh, you know, the e-signal application does have volume out here, and volume wasn't exactly, you know, that that huge. Uh, you know, all that it did was it came back to uh, test this high volume day on December the uh, 9th out there. And that top was uh, 3239. Did we get down to 3239? We did not. We got to 3243. Close enough. But it wasn't able to break through that area. So even though it was a big percentage drop out here, it uh, at this stage here, did damage wise, percentage wise, but damage wise to the chart, not so much. Now let's go take a look at our futures markets out here. Let's go see what we've got. If we take a look at the ES mini. We're going to take a look at the uh, daily charts out here. The ES Mini, uh, we, as we pointed out um, on a Friday out here, every time the ES Mini's been down in this price point of about 1961, we've seen some bullish candles uh, come in here. So we know that the bulls are defending this general area, 1961. They're defending 1984. And on uh, Friday, they defended the uh, 1978 type level out there. Nice bullish reversal signals on all three of those bottoms. What should the ES Mini do now? Well, straight up into its uh, point of control area. 2026. If we just simply take a look at just a small little trend line out here, that becomes the next level of uh, resistance or one of the next levels of resistance. Let me see here. We'll use a little arrow out here. We'll stop at the uh, top. Here's your trend line. Uh, we'll just call it right about there. There's there's your trend line here. So the ES Mini has not busted through that. That's something that you'll probably want to keep an eye on. If we take a look at the retracements from high to low out here, uh, what we'll see is that the ES Mini is above the 0 0.382 retracement, just slightly, but still above it at 2015. That says its next stop is uh, its next stop in the uh, station out here is at 2043. In order to get up to 2043, it's going to actually have to pierce that little descending trend line out here from the highs that occurred back on December the 30th out there. So if it can get above and close above 2043, that will indicate a change in trend. That will also indicate a move up to the highs out here, back to the 2088 level, and perhaps beyond that. But that's what's going on inside the S&P futures. If we take a look at the NASDAQ futures out here, again, the same kind of pattern each time down at these lows out here. And, of course, these lows happen to coincide with this October 31st area, October 31st, October 30th. That's when the Japanese banks uh, came out or the central bank came out and they said, hey, we've got the uh, printing presses going out here. So uh, price just coming back into that uh, breakout session. We've been consolidating sideways since October 31st. In essence, it made a high. We did most certainly make that high back here in the in the uh, N -N -N -Q. I'll get it out. Don't worry about it. That was back on November the uh, 28th. So we've been really kind of consolidating over a period of time. Now, if we take a look at that same trend line out here, or a trend line, I should say, uh, we go from the, uh, I don't know where we're going to go from out here. It looks like uh, probably going to take it from the uh, December 31st area. You know, it's not as much of a dissension. Dissension, is that a word out there? Of course it is, but not the kind. But here is the, uh, let's
let's go. Let's do the same things out here. Let's take a look at retracement, uh, high to low, as well as that uh, trend line out here. So in the case of the uh, NASDAQ, trading right at about the 0.382 retracement, 41.48. But the way that it came into it on Friday really does suggest that it wants to get up to 42.14. Now, 42.14, you will just run right into resistance of that uh, trend line that Stevie went ahead and drew on his screen out here. So you need to see it close about 42.14. Should you see that? That sets up a move up to the 43.20 level inside of the NASDAQ. If we go take a look at the uh, Dow futures out here. Inside the Dow futures, they're trading out at uh, 17,478, not the high of its session. The high so far has been in the 17,536. That is a total of uh, about uh, 50, 61 points higher than where we're at today. I don't know if I got that math right. I was so quick in my mind while I was multitasking, but 51, 61 points out here. Again, uh, if we take a look at retracements, let's just do the retracement here of the uh, Dow from the high on December 26th down to the uh, low out here on January 16th. Again, everything doing about the same thing. The Dow trading right at its 0.382 retracement at 17,478. You get above that level, then you can uh, expect 17,697 to be next in order. Let's take a look at the uh, Russell 2000 futures. Don't forget, I've got a 10-minute delay on this chart out here. Uh, but they are trading at right around the 1174 range. If we take a look at it also from a high to low, it's high being the trading session here looks like of uh, December 31st down to the low of uh, Friday. And if we take a look at that retracement, big wide ranging bar inside of the Russell 2000 looks to be strong like bull. She's trading above the 0.382 retracement, 1170. That says next move is 1189.33. It's 0.618 retracement. You get above that, and I say forget about the 0.786 retracement level. It heads up back to its highs, net 12, 20 ish range out there. That's what's going on inside the daily contracts for each of the uh, futures contracts. Now, let's go check in on a couple of other things out here. Let's go check in on natural gas. Let's go look at natural gas. That's down 18 cents as we speak right now. If we take a look at retracements here, natural gas getting back into its uh, swing point. That swing point being January the 12th, the top of which is 293. You're trading right now at 290. You trade inside that swing point. By the way, there were 70,000 contracts on that trading session as we take a look at the March contract. So far this morning, 100,000 contracts. What does that say? That says you're coming into a swing point with volume. You come into a swing point with volume. What does that say? It says you're going to do one of two things. You're either going to bust it to the downside or you're going to go test the low. So long as price stays within that 293 level, what you should expect is a price point of 278. I would have to say what we should expect is more likely a price point that's going to bust through that area. And that's always counterintuitive to what somebody would think as we come into a, a winter season. Nonetheless, if you want to uh, get rid of the counterintuitiveness, all you have to do is just simply take a look at the, uh, oops, that's the wrong chart. I didn't want to show that chart. I wanted to show this chart. Where is it? There we go. Uh, not that I did want to show that chart, but that, boy, that was not a smooth transition. But let's go and try to do that again. And here is the uh, deal out here, and that is if we take a look at the uh, seasonal pattern inside of natural gas, she won't really make her next low till sometime the, uh, during the middle of uh, February out here. I would say that sometime right around, uh, come on, show up on my screen out here. It's got a different screen that I'm looking at, right around that February 14th. So for Valentine's Day, that is very likely when natural gas makes its next low right around that uh, level this is steve rhodes this is tfnn right now we've got uh, dow futures they're up about uh, 48 points s p up six and a half you right to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery in pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on 
on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. How would you feel if you had a powerful decision-making tool that has the ability to find high-probability trading opportunities across multiple time frames in equities, currencies, and futures? Search no more. Take advantage of the best trade with the Taz Profile Scanner. Trade with confidence and clarity while using the software that thousands of institutional traders rely on to help them make the best and most accurate decisions. Scan over a 1,000 equities, currencies, and futures instruments for high-probability trading setups utilizing the Taz architecture. As seen on Bloomberg terminals worldwide, the TAS Profile Scanner is a benchmark technical filtering system that thousands of traders rely on, and now you can too. For a limited time, for TFNN subscribers only, we've reduced the price to just $97. That's over 75% off. Subscribers will also gain access to the December 9th workshop with John Logan. There's no obligation to pay anything. Get your 30-day free trial to the TAS Profile Scanner today by signing up at TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Check out the new look of Tiger TV. Now you can see all hosts, charts, and computer screens live in high definition. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV. Now, crystal clear in high definition, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you haven't seen the new look of Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, yeah, this Thursday, this coming Thursday, the folks over at Ninja Trader have asked me to do a uh, workshop. So uh, if you come on over to the homepage at TFNN.com, it's going to be a one hour, about a 40, 45 minute uh, workshop right underneath breaking news. We just got the uh, link up right here. It says free webinar with Steve Rhodes. Go ahead and click on that. That'll take you over into the Ninja Trader uh, workshop uh, 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 sign up page out there. That's how you sign up for this. It's going to be 415 on uh, this Thursday afternoon. So it'll be a one hour question answers at the end of it i'll be showing up it's the same workshop basically similar workshop to what i did for uh e-signal out there only done on the ninja trader uh, platform as you know uh, those are the two primary tools that i uh, use uh for uh trading for taking a look where price is going that a to b equals cd tool you know we take a look at that if we take a look right now at the es uh, mini out here the es mini 120 minute chart what we can see is that uh, we may have an a to b equals cd to the upside that is underway out 
here. That would actually take price into about the 2056 level out here. So this is a tool that you do not want to be without. I'll also let you know how you can gain access to this tool to use on your Ninja Trader platform. If in fact you use that, of course, if you're interested in the e-signal uh, version of that, uh, just send me an email, Steve at tfn.com. Uh, we can get you hooked up with uh, that as well. Now, we were talking about, uh, so I'd love to see you there. Uh, and if you've never been to that uh, workshop before, uh, do yourself a favor, uh, schedule it. Put it on your agenda. Get it over the homepage at tfnet.com and sign up for it. Uh, if we take a look at, uh, so we're looking at natural gas just as a previous. Let's go take a look at um, Let's go take a look at uh, gold out here. So if we take a look at gold, she's up $9 right now. Uh, what we know about uh, gold is that it's up above the 1 to 1A to B equals CD. It looks like a nice strong move is underway out here. It's next move price projection wise, 1303.40. That's your 1 to 1.272A to B equals CD. The upside as well as the 0.786 retracement. From the move, uh, from the uh, high out here where we're using that from our uh, trend line, that means the high of July the uh, 10th, 2014, down to the low on November 7, 2014. So everything still looks pretty good for uh, gold. Uh, I, my, I would have to, it looks to me as I take a look at this chart and I take a look at this move out here, you know, whether it was caused by the uh the uh, Swiss uh, franc, uh, which certainly made uh, gold move higher. What we do know about gold is that it had broken its trend line already. So it broke that trend line that was back on uh, January the 12th. Never really came back and tested that uh, trend line, uh, but it has moving higher. It looks to me like it's going to go make a run for that uh, July 10th area in that 1340-ish type range out there. That's what's going on inside the world of Goldilocks. If we take a look at high hose silver, uh, silver right now trading up six pennies, trading out at $17.81. Silver has has at least uh, broken through a version of its consolidation. If we take a look at the uh, retracement, though, from high to low, I go back to that July 10th date down to that uh, spike low on December the 1st. We can see with silver, it is trading with conviction above the 0.382 retracement level. That says 1876 is next up on its card. That is a dollar higher than where it is trading at right now. She's trading at about $17.82 out there. And that looks like where silver's next stop is. We look at the light sweet crude. Light Sweet crude right now trade out at 46.72. Uh, let's go back to the continuous contract out here. That's always a little bit easier to take a look at uh, because we've got to go back in time to understand where our retracement levels are coming from. So real quickly, we'll switch over to that quarterly chart out here. This shows you we're looking at the uh, swing point low. Uh, back in 2009, that price point was 33.20. From that low to the high out here on April the uh, 1st of the month of April, I should say, that was out at a price point of 114.83. Your 0.786 retracement level, we've sliced through that. That is at $50.67. So you're trading into that swing point here on a quarterly basis. You're also doing it on a monthly basis. That is the uh, January 2009 area. Well, let me see what it is on the monthly. I want to make sure I give you the right month. Out here i gave you the right quarter but let me go ahead let me pull this back and give you the right month because i'm not sure which month that is that we're trading into is it yeah it's january of 2009 out here so you're trading down below that we're making a and, and volume wise uh looks like you're trading into it with volume as uh, well uh, so that says more likely than not what we're likely to see here in light sweet crude is a move down to that 3320 of course if we do take a look at the uh, continuous contract we'll know for sure i would say we'll know for sure from the standpoint of this we've got that nice seventh inning wave stretch uh, pattern to the downside that took place on the trading session of january 13th it was really confirmed on january 14th and in doing so went ahead and created a nice little bullish morning star candle that's a three candle session out here so we got a couple of different patterns and we we're also making a, a price relative of strength divergent pattern so you got really three different bullish uh, signals down here at that low from uh, january 13th that low has not been taken out but i consider that to be a boy importante low out there any break below that that's what suggests to me we'd see 33 bucks but right now that's the level of support what does that mean well, price wise that uh, price point is 44 dollars and 20 cents steve rhodes with tfnn we'll be right back
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank as a member FDIC and equal housing lender who says you can't take it with you TFNN says you can with your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands no special apps to download no subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams we say you can. Each and every time that the dollar ticks higher, S&P wants higher price. Each and every time that the dollar is ticking lower, guess what? S&P wants lower price. Dollar, the metals, and the S&P are going tick for tick. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors this segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com Races. We got the Dow up 67 points. Trading out at 17,577. S&P's up eight. Trade at 2027. 20, 
uh, NASDAQ composite up 26. She's trading out at 46.60. Uh, Russell 2000 up two points, trading at 11.78. DAX up 30. Uh, FTSE up 43 points out here. To the upside, Illumina Inc. is illuminating the skies out here, up 3% of $5.46. Netflix up $3.50, up 1%. Google up 1% of $4.60. Uh, Visa up a little over 1%, up $3. Rand Gold Resources up 3.5%, up 283. Baidu up 3 bucks, up 1.5%. Uh, to the downside, FXCM taking a uh, hit based on the uh, Swiss uh, getting caught on the wrong side. Well, uh, not well. Uh, you know, there's their system, I suppose, being on the wrong side of uh, of that uh, Swiss franc uh, trade. I guess the retail customers, folks, and any even out there. Um, Outer Wall Inc. O U T R. That's uh, down about 11 percent this morning. Down eight dollars and twenty seven cents. Kite Pharmaceuticals up four forty seven. Uh, you've got Johnson and Johnson. I believe they were out with numbers before the bell off a couple of uh, points down two bucks out here uh, Express Inc. EXPR uh, 15 percent down uh, two bucks uh, we'll take a look at these equities here that are moving and uh, grooving let's go take a look at Illumina first IL MN let's go see what it is doing traded out at 189 and change out here uh, as we take a look at uh, this thing Illumina here had a, a nice breakout session let's take a look at this let's pull this back let me uh, go ahead and get my my edit tool out here I can turn things on and off and uh, cleans up the chart sometimes a little bit easier for you to follow you don't necessarily I need all the noise out here. So if we turn this off, I don't know what was on this. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off right there. Okay, great. So if we take a look at Illumina, let me actually move these moving averages off to Okay, great. So if we look at uh, Illumina, what we know about Illumina, ticker symbol here, I-L-M-N, uh, she gapped up with a wide price spread, accelerated volume, did that on October 21st, 3.6 million shares to the upside. Came back and tested it with 1.2 million shares, and that was on December the uh, 16th out here. Our mark was making a bottom, Illumina made a bottom as well. Nice little bullish reversal signal out here. So Illumina in essence, has been trading in a, a consolidation pattern between 174 and 197. So you got about a 25-point consolidation pattern out here. It's tested the bottoms, couldn't break through that. Now it ought to go test the highs in the 197 area. Now, 197.37 happens to be the October 31st swing point out here. Uh, but there's uh, new swing points that it really needs to deal with. January 8th, the high 197.82, 198.24 on the very uh, 199.48. That was on the uh, 199.48. Uh, let me see. It was that it? We have 199.48. That was on uh, January 9th. Uh, 1.2 million shares. You've done 126,000 in only seven minutes of uh, trading. But that is where Illumina is headed to. Ticker symbol there is I L M N. If we take a look at uh, Google, let's go see what Google is doing. That's up about nine tenths percent, up four dollars and seventy five cents out here. Uh, let's take a look at. Uh, uh, give me a moment here too many things going on. So as we take a look at uh, Google, uh, Google here made a, a low recently on January the uh, 12th. Uh, January 12th, the volume of 2.5 million shares. That was going against a uh, volume from December 16th of 4.3 million shares. So that was taken out a swing point with light uh, volume. Did it actually take it out? I think the close might have been, let's see, the low was 497.19. The close was 4. Where is it closed? 497.06, so just slightly, but with light volume. What Google has going on right now is a decided uh, downtrend that we can see out here. Channel, downtrend, down channel, trend line. Let's go take a look at, just make it easy right now. Let's just take a look at the uh, trend line. That trend line coming off of the high here from September 19th. There we go. Come on. And so here's what uh, Google, in essence, uh, must be a lot of data going on in my system. So things are a little bit slow here this morning. But there's your trend line for Google. That's what it really needs to uh, crack in order to uh, suggest that a change in trend is underway. As far as the best estimate of what that uh, price level is, it's going to depend on the day. But let's just take a look at its most recent high to low, swing point high to low from a retracement standpoint. Looks to me like Google wants to get up to 523.68. And then they can do that to 530. 258. So it's somewhere between the 524, 532 area where that trend line will get uh, tagged and touched. You break that area, and then we can say that Google has broken a downtrend that's been in place since September the uh, 19th out here. Uh, if we take a look at also to the uh, upside out here, let's go take a look at Spirit Airlines. S A V E is the uh, ticker symbol. That's up about 5% of $3.46 uh, out here. 
Uh, let's go take a look at uh, Spirit Airlines. So Spirit now has got some real resistance at the December 9th level. If we take a look at that price point exactly, this is where uh, Spirit Airlines actually formed a uh, island reversal. So this is going to be kind of interesting. This could just be a counter trend rally out here. Now, that island, let me see, the low here on December 1st, in spirit, eighty dollars and a penny, and yeah, eighty. It was most certainly so that island took place when we saw a gap up on November twenty eighth. One point one million shares to the upside, and then we saw price uh, move uh, sideways to higher for two, four, six trading sessions ago, and then ba boom, December the ninth after they came out with. Uh, Earnings and that fact that was after its all time high out here, at least 52 week high, but I think all time high back on December 8th. So it's got this uh, most bearish of patterns out here, uh, and we know a combination of things. Number one, if that high ever gets taken out, that would be extremely bullish because nothing more bullish than a failed bearish pattern. It doesn't get uh, too much more bearish than this. So you've got an island top reversal inside of Spirit Airlines at the highs. Now, what is likely to uh, take place here is uh, price should find resistance, uh, you know, 79, you'd say 79.50, but the reality is last time that price was up uh, December 22nd was a high of 77.70. So three sevenths in a row looks like it was uh, trying to throw craps out there. And we'll see if the fourth time is the uh, charm. Not that this is the fourth test, but uh, that's where price is likely headed to the 77. 70 area inside of Spirit Airlines. 1.2 million shares are up there. 146,000 shares traded today. Uh, Dow's off seven points. S&P is flat. Composite is up nine. Let's take a look at some things moving to the downside out here. Let's take a look at Outer Wall. O-U-T-R is the ticker symbol. Looks like their CEO has stepped down and in stepping down, he's taken the uh, stock chart down with it. However, it doesn't look to be too, too bad out here because if we take a look at O-U-T-R, this thing I don't know why he stepped down, but it had a nice price move, wide price spread, accelerated volume. Does that on November the 24th out here? That high is 73.33. You're trading inside that bar volume. There was 3.6 million shares so far today in 11 minutes of trading, 327,000 shares out here. So it should have good support at that low, about $65.50. That is a uh, that was its second sign of strength out here uh, uh, since the uh, first the first sign of strength came in on October 31st first out there. Hey, no surprise. Um, if we take a look at also moving to the downside, we've got that Kite Pharma off 10%, off $8.40 out here. I don't see what is behind that move, but let's go take a look at it. Kite Pharma having made a, a key reversal session. Uh, that was on January 15th. So just a couple trading sessions ago, 3.8 million shares out there. Uh, looks like uh, this is going to pull back. If it does pull back, uh, may pull back to its uh, breakout area. In the case of Kite Pharma, that could be in the December 9th area, somewhere between 44 bucks and 53.96. That's where we had wide price spread, accelerated volume. That was on December the 9th out there. Kite Pharma, K-I-T-E, is the ticker symbol. Also, moving right now to the downside out here. Let me see, percentage-wise, we've got outer wall, we've got this. Uh, I thought we we did have something else big. It must not have been. Uh, must not have been a big uh, let's look at decker outdoor d-e-c-k is the uh, ticker symbol off three dollars and 33 cents let's go see what decker outdoor is doing she's trading into its uh, swing point back here from october 24 2014 that's got volume of 3.3 million shares you moved into it you started moving into it uh, on the trading session looks like of january 15th 1.2 million shares so it's coming in there with light volume nonetheless you're into that swing point it does suggest that the low of that swing point will be tested until it closes above that. That says that pretty good chance Decker Outdoor is headed for the $80 and one cent area for a uh, test. Uh, that's what's going on inside. Whoops, that's what's going on inside that equity. Let me just, uh, as long as I accidentally came over here, let me take a look at the... Uh, at what we've got going on in summation indexes out here. So you got the price traveling right into the resistance area where it should, and we're seeing a slight pullback. So today's going to be an important trading session for us to continue to monitor. What we haven't monitored here yet this morning has been the, uh, what we have not monitored has been the, uh, it's been the currencies. Let's go take a look at the currency pairs out here. Let's go take a look at your friend and mine. That is the Euro Japanese yen. As we take a look at the Euro Japanese yen, moving higher, moving on up. 
that is up above the uh, hammer candle out here from uh, October the uh, 16th. Uh, this is, uh, look, let me get rid of the A to B equals CD pattern out here. We take a look at the uh, Euro, Japanese, Yen. Um, we take a look at a real short-term uh, trend line out here, probably one for us to <coughs> be watching. We'll go ahead, we'll make that a, uh, let's actually make that a red arrow. Let me see. Come on. Work with me. Red line out here. Not an arrow. Red line. So here is your trend line for the Euro Japanese yen. So if uh, we can see price uh, close above that level, then its uh, downtrend uh, will have been uh, broken. Uh, that would bode very well for the uh, U.S. stock indices out here because this currency pair tracks the U.S. stock indices better than any other currency pair out there. We know it's made a 1 to, might have been a 1 to 2.618. A to B equals CD to the downside. Uh, the Euro Japanese yen, if we take a look at retracements as well from high out here, where that A point began down to, whoops, I've got to grab the right tool out there. That's the wrong thing. Let me grab the retracement ruler. There we go. Now we're going to come from that swing point from December the 8th down to low out here a couple of trading sessions ago. That says that uh, the next move is in the 140.46 level. That would then go ahead and break that uh, downtrend. So that's a short-term trend line, but I think that's a good trend line for us to be paying attention to. That is on your euro, Japanese yen. If we go take a look at the euro itself. Uh, that is trading out at about the 115 and change level out here. What we know about the uh, euro is that uh, this thing continues to trade below 116.39. I consider 116.39 to be the key level level of either resistance or support. If you can get back above that, then the uh, move to the downside uh, will have been over. What we know we've got going on right now inside the euro currency against the U.S. dollar is nothing more than a sideways move. You had a little piercing candle here. This was uh, yesterday. No additional follow through as we speak this morning. Uh, we know that the uh, weekly chart calls for a much lower low inside of the uh, euro. What we also know, though, where did I do that? Let me do this. This is going to be kind of the amazing thing. But, but hey, look, the, the real key uh, the real key in life, the ultimate power in life, in my opinion, is anticipation. And so that's what I want to teach you to uh, do out here. So from an anticipation standpoint, and this is, uh, I, I happen to catch the uh, portion of a Tom and David show on Friday. Let me see if I can put this out here. And I just added a bit to the conversation via just typing into the uh, Tiger's Den out here. But if we take a look at uh, this, I want to put this, I think, on the weekly chart. Might do this. So here's what we know. The euro has got, the euro against the U.S. dollar has an amazing pattern out here. And that amazing pattern, it's worked for a long, long time. And those are the uh, arrows on my screen. They're, they're identified as yellow and red arrows out here. I can't remember why I actually used yellow and red, but I did. Looks like I just have one red arrow, which maybe was identifying, uh, you know, I don't remember why. But here's what the euro does against the U.S. dollar. And it does it every time right around this time of the year, right around January. Uh, sometimes, you know, between, between, the, between the end of December and the early part of February out here. Uh, here, if we take a look at this is the week that began January 28th. This is 2013. Euro makes a uh, fairly, you know, a, a high out here, a swing point high. Uh, you know, makes a low and then just travels sideways uh, for a while out here. Uh, and so we're coming into that, that time period. Now, what we see inside the euro is it's broken through a significant level of uh, support. Uh, that was at the 116 level. The reason why I say it's significant is because there's really Really nothing to stop it uh, from a base or anything along those lines or a bullish reversal signal. There's really nothing in here to uh, stop the uh, euro from its uh, descent down into, you know, maybe down into the October 2000 level out here. Uh, you know, the other things that would stop would be retracement areas. If we take a look at retracement, and we can't ignore those from a uh, low to high, what we can see is the 0.68 retracement. We've either hit it or we're very close to it. Let's take a look. Come on. Come on, my computer now having frozen, that makes it really difficult. I can tell you the 0.618 retracement level. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. I hate that's okay. I'll have a backup plan. Ooh, I know how I did that. That's kind of interesting. That's really interesting. Okay, if we take a look at the uh, 0.618 retracement level, that's coming off of the lows inside the euro. Uh, looks like back here in uh, 2000, right around the price level of uh, 82 cents, 82 cents. If we go from that low to the high out here that took place, uh, looks like that high in April of 2008, you're getting very close to the 0.618 retracement level, so dollar twenty. So now we've got at the dollar twenty area, We've also got this 116 range, and uh, we know that I know, you now know, that uh, during the month of uh, January, uh, typically the euro goes ahead and makes some type of significant uh, 
top or bottom. Well, in this case here, with uh, with the markets moving lower, it has to be a uh, bottom out there, so or potentially be a bottom. So that's going to be something to uh, look at. So at this stage of the game, what we know is that uh, Mario Draghi should be coming out and, and instead of just doing quantitative speak, which is really what he's known for, he ought to actually do something about it. And the thought there is that it would weaken the euro and the euro would continue moving lower. But that's been such an anticipated move. The thing that I say is that sometimes the markets are uh, do the uh, counterintuitive thing out here. So this move lower that we're taking a look at inside the euro versus the U.S. dollar, what I pose to you, is that really all built in? As soon as we get the uh, news, the euro is going to move higher. The U.S. dollar index is going to move lower out there. I don't know. But we'll continue to monitor these charts, and we'll let you know. This is Steve Rhodes. This is TFNN. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy. A set of tools that identify the momentum and the power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns as well as market trend calls. 
Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch Steve Rhodes as he teaches techniques on technical analysis using pattern recognition, celestial charting, Fibonacci, and other tools. The Trader's Edge, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's off 83 points right now. She's trading out at 17,427. S&P is off 7 at 2,012. Composite down uh, about 11 points at 46.23. Uh, kind of nice out here. I'll show you this chart here. The 10-minute chart for the S&P futures kind of made those two nice seventh inning uh, stretches out here. Now, if you take a look at a high uh, that uh, took place, this is, uh, this is from... Uh, Sunday evening from the high from uh, Sunday evening down to a low that came in here yesterday morning at uh, 6 10 a.m. We got that nice seventh inning stretch seventh uh, waves to the uh, downside. What's it do uh, today at 750 a.m. this morning to make uh, seven waves to the upside out here inside of the market. Now are we going to have seven more waves to the downside. I don't know the answer to that. But if we take a look at the uh, pattern out here that's the uh, right now you're it does suggest that uh, you have still lower price coming at you during the uh, day today. It should at least get uh, four waves to the downside. So 10-minute chart, something uh, for those of you that are intraday traders worth paying attention to out there. Now, if we take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at uh, at the uh, VIX index. So let's go take a look at the volatility index. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at it from this standpoint here. What we see inside the volatility index, you got the uh, top portion of my screen out here is the uh, VIX index. The bottom portion is the S&P 500 top portion out here. We can see that the VIX is well above its 50 day exponential moving average, but cheat two is also above its uh, 50 uh, to one, uh, one standard deviation Bollinger band out here. And, uh, you know, price is just simply stretched time for it to get back inside that band 1952 inside of the uh, VIX it gets back below that uh, today we ought to see it move all the way down to the 12 area 1250 1280 so this thing is uh, stretched um, you know just making up for uh, maybe a little bit of uh, a little bit of the Swiss franc maybe it's making up a little bit of uh, China you know, having its uh, worst uh, growth in God knows how long out there uh, and that 700 point move to the uh, downside. So I guess uh, some of this to be expected out here. But if we take a look at the things that also move the markets out here, that uh, currency pair, the euro Japanese yen. Let me see. Uh, this thing is still trading to the upside out here. Boy, my system is slow. I sure hate that because um, I certainly don't want to be giving you uh, old data out here. Okay. Uh, at this stage, you know, uh, nothing really significant to the uh, downside or anything inside of uh, this currency pair. We'll take a look at uh, volumes. We'll take a look at the ETF structures for the Qs, the Diamonds, the Spies, the IWM, each of the uh, sectors inside of the S&P 500. We'll do that during the, uh, during the next show. Let's take a look at a couple of uh, uh, gold mining equities here that are moving. Let's take a look at Rand Gold. GOLD is a uh, ticker symbol up about three bucks right now, 293 gapping up this morning. Uh, this has had a, a nice move off of the uh, lows out here, most recent lows back on uh, December the uh, 15th. Uh, Rand Gold is on its way up into its uh, swing point area back from July of 2014 in the $89 area at 83.83 as we speak right now. If we take a look at uh, uh, Gold Corp up 52 cents, we know Gold Corp took out its resistance line, and that was at $21.42. What Gold Corp has done here this morning is made it to the 0.68 retracement area of its move from the August 14th high, 29.65, down to the low that was put in back here on October 31st, 2014. That 0.618 area is exactly priced at 24.82. The intercession high today, 24.79. That's what's going on inside of uh, Gold Corp. So, folks, if you're off to start your day, have a, a terrific Tuesday. Don't forget, you can get over to the homepage of TFNN.com. And uh, what you can do is uh, this coming Thursday, I've got a, a workshop that I'm doing for for the uh, folks over at uh, Ninja Trader, what you can do, come on over to the homepage of TFN.com underneath breaking news, that second link there, free webinar with Steve Rhodes. Want to see you there. It's this Thursday, 4.15 Eastern Standard Time. Have a great Tuesday, folks.
or I'll see you in just about seven minutes. Take care. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. You're watching Tiger TV.